there are rumors out there indicating that the Assassin's Creed game coming after Rift might be set in Japan. Plus we got more info about when Rift might be announced, a whole lot of new information about the Forgotten Saga game mode, both through an official interview and through some leaked game files, so we absolutely have no time to waste. Let's dive into this huge new load of information about the future of Assassin's Creed. And let's start with the huge elephant in the room. It is only a rumor or a leak that really depends on how you might take it, but apparently the next mainline Assassin's Creed game after the rumored Assassin's Creed Rift will be set in Japan. The information comes from Jeff Grubb, a gaming journalist working for a giant bomb, and I didn't know but apparently there are people that track the credibility of leaker journalists out there and this is the page for him. So Grubb, in the latest episode of Games Mess Decides, a stream where he discusses news about about the gaming industry and games in general, he did talk about the future of Assassin's Creed for a few minutes. He did mention another famous journalist and leaker, Jason Schreier, recently debunking a rumor about the next Assassin's Creed game taking place in an Aztec setting. And by the way, let's stop here for a bit because in two comments, Jason Schreier shares some huge information or rumors about the future of Assassin's Creed as well. First of all, he confirmed that the next Assassin's Creed game is Assassin's Creed Rift, the one that he leaked himself and that we already discussed in the past, but he also corroborated Eurogamer's leak about the game taking place in Baghdad and especially he stated that the game should be announced in September, which absolutely makes sense considering that that is the month where the next Ubisoft Forward event is going to take place, that is September the 10th, and where also the future of Assassin's Creed will be officially discussed in some shape or form. Schreier also added that after Rift, it's going to be time for Assassin's Creed Infinity, which is going to be a platform that is going to host several different games, experiences, biomes, etc., which we also talked about in our previous videos, but he also added that he already heard about the two main experiences currently planned for Assassin's Creed Infinity, and apparently neither of them will feature an Aztec setting, and that's more or less where Jeff Grubb comes into play. So while he was discussing Rift, the Infinity platform, and the debunked Aztec rumor, he did say that he heard a lot of this information shared by Schreier from his own source, and this source apparently also told Grubb that the next experience or game coming quote-unquote after all this other stuff, or maybe as part of Infinity, is actually going to be set in Japan and should be a game more oriented towards the RPG style of the recent Assassin's Creed games. Of course, pick all of this with a grain of salt, even if this were true, it's going to be years in the making and Ubisoft surely won't comment on that, but I do agree with what is said in the stream, that is, if they really want to go big with the Infinity platform, they need a killer application to sell it, and what better setting than Japan, which has been one of the most anticipated settings for Assassin's Creed pretty much since 2009. Plus, I'd imagine that the most coveted era in Japan would be the medieval one, so we might see some assassins and tempers in there, not hidden ones, no order of the ancients. So yeah, as usual we're going to have to wait and see, and of course you can expect a lot of waiting in that regard. Moving on and getting much closer to our nearest future, we have a lot of new information about the Forgotten Saga upcoming game mode for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In fact, in a recent interview by Your Raptor with post-launch producer Jose Araiza, it was mentioned that the Forgotten Saga free roguelite game mode for Valhalla, where we are going to play as Odin in the realm of Niflheim and where we are going to face Hel, Loki's daughter, this game mode, which was set to release this summer, is going to be actually dropped with the next update for Valhalla, even though of course it wasn't mentioned when that would actually happen. What the producer said instead is that the team for the year 2 updates is not following the strict 6 weeks frequency that they had announced for year 1, so considering that update 1.5.3 for the game was released on June the 28th, it means that the Forgotten Saga update might be coming potentially later than August the 9th, which would be 6 weeks from 1.5.3, or maybe even earlier than that considering that the recent updates have had an approximately monthly frequency. 
While we already covered the first info and leaks about Forgotten Saga a few weeks ago in a recent video by Dennis from the Euroraptor crew which you can find in the description, a lot more details were shared about the game mode again from the same interview with Jose Araiza. He started by confirming that players will need to build Valka's hat to access the new game mode and that the Niflheim map will indeed contain 4 regions where players will be able to find chests, NPCs and merchants where they presumably will be able to acquire the equipment, the weapons and even the upgrades that they'll need to move around in the map in exchange for the dedicated currency of this game mode, as they will be originally stripped of everything that they have from the main game when starting this game mode, which is pretty much customary for roguelite and roguelike games. So players will be able to find some of the most relevant weapons from the main game and they, along with the upgrades and equipment, will be polarized towards specific gameplay style archetypes so that players have to strategize how to proceed forward. As pretty much every update from the post launch of Valhalla, players will be able to earn rewards in this game mode that they will be able to use in the main game as well, though it wasn't clarified whether they are going to be weapons, armor sets, cosmetics or else. In terms of size and scope of the content, Jose mentioned that the game mode might last 6 to 7 hours for regular Valhalla players, while it should run at 3 to 4 hours for players that have mastered the game and its gameplay. Also, he highly encouraged to beat the game mode more than once, which may mean that there might be either different potential outcomes or different rewards or else that player can gain from Forgotten Saga by completing it multiple times. Moreover, it was stated that the mode will contain a hub-like area where we are going to get back every time we fail during the game mode, which is another common feature for roguelike games, and also, story-wise, Dennis reported that there might be some additional story information about Odin and Baldur, although apparently it won't be necessary to have played the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC in order to enjoy the story of Forgotten Saga, which... I guess it's the standard policy of the post-launch of Valhalla, nothing new there, every story seems to be its own self-contained narrative without meaningful ties to the other ones that came before. Another reason why I'm not really into the narrative of this game mode, but apparently if I got it correctly, Forgotten Saga will conclude the mythology-based narrative introduced with Dawn of Ragnarok, so we'll see, maybe it will surprise us all. In our previous video about Forgotten Saga, I wondered whether the Odin powers from the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC would have made a comeback in this new game mode, which was pretty much the only piece of content where it would have made sense, but apparently that's not going to be the case because of the roguelite nature of the game mode, where you are stripped of everything you have before playing it. So yeah, one of the few cool aspects that I enjoyed from Dawn of Ragnarok will stay contained to that DLC. Jose also confirmed to the Euraptor team that there are no more paid expansions planned for Valhalla, which is also why Dennis extrapolated that Forgotten Saga might be the conclusion of the mythological story, again if I got that correctly, but he also said that there is going to still be one surprise for Valhalla that fans don't know about yet, meaning he wasn't talking about Eivor's final chapter, which has officially been announced, and instead Dennis interpreted it as the rumored crossover with Assassin's Creed Origins, though some other rumors slash leaks from Andy Reloads seem to confine that to the part 2 of the Tombs of the Fallen activity for Valhalla, which has already been announced for fall of 2022. So these are the official news coming from your after's interview with Jose Araiza, but there's more out there which comes from the game files that were explored by Andy Reloads and his pals Petter and Ipsarp, and of course these are info that might change before release, but you know that's very likely not the case. As we mentioned in our previous video dedicated to Forgotten Saga, the four regions of the map are identified as Cold, Mist, Dark and Hell, which are likely not going to be their final names, and now Andy was able to share some pictures identifying them and showing some of the biomes inside of them. These four regions will also hold some houses or halls which, according to Andy, might be the locations for the boss fights of each region, with the regions potentially being connected by bridges that might or might not activate once you defeat each region's boss. Gameplay-wise, Andy reported that the game mode will keep track of the number of times you are going to try to complete it or die trying and a randomized spawn, meaning that the location of weapons, equipment and upgrades might change every time we start a new attempt. 
Apparently there will also be some world events or quests within the map such as the shield maiden one that you can see on the screen right now and also the so called cursed chest which will likely require some kind of action like puzzle solving, enemy fighting or even timed actions before trying to open them. And he also shared the pictures of the various armor sets that we'll be able to use within the game mode and in this case it's going to be a single slot in the inventory for the whole set, meaning that we won't be able to mix and match items from different sets. And speaking of armor sets, and he also shared some more pictures of items, weapons and cosmetics that might actually account for the rewards that players might obtain from the game mode or might also be used directly in the game mode itself. And he also discussed some of the bosses that we might face in Forgotten Saga, of course with Hell being the main antagonist here, for whom a database picture was found in the game files and she is seen holding Basim's sword, which was also Loki's sword in the mythological sequences of the main game, so it looks like she got it from her father somehow. Hell will also be protected by the so called Hell Hounds, which are these dead like wolves shown in the trailer for Forgotten Saga. Of course the game mode would also feature the dragon that had many people complain, including us, and should be based on the Nidhogg dragon of Norse mythology, and Andy did also share a new database picture for it as well which shows many more details of its appearance. And lastly, Andy also showed the visuals for another boss that we already mentioned in our past videos, that would be Hyun Gunnar, and now we know that it is this guy from the trailer and he will apparently throw scythes and also shoot lasers from this huge eye behind him. Because because of course, might as well at this point. So yeah, a lot to look forward to in the coming days, weeks, months and years, starting with Forgotten Saga probably in August, then the future of Assassin's Creed in September, the announcement and release of Rift soon thereafter and Infinity coming after that, and that's of course without mentioning the VR games, the transmedia and so on. And like I said, we're going to start with Forgotten Saga in Valhalla very, very soon. And if you'd like to know more about the game mode, its basic features, another set of rumors and leaks dedicated to it and while we're not that interested about it, we have just a video for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.